Okay. I wore my mask today, one of our my merch items, and I have to say, it's coming off my store the minute I get home today. And for those of you who may have purchased one, if you're still alive, I will offer you a full refund or an exchange for another item because I am suffocating from my mask today. These are horrible. Why is it? Oh. These are horrible. So message me with a receipt if you bought one of my masks and I will fix it. I'm going to buy a Wonderland mask now because this is absolutely horrible. I'm so sorry. Hopefully you're still alive if you bought one. Alrighty, um, so you guys enjoyed the first update on a grass seed at Canada's Wonderland, so I thought I would check back on our giga grass that Canada's Wonderland has planted. Um, I'm super excited about it. There are two areas of construction at Canada's Wonderland with grass seed, um, which definitely means it's going to be giga-sized and an absolutely insanely large project. So we're definitely going to be covering this over the next little while because this is just, this is getting insane at how large scale of a project this is. Um, I couldn't be more thrilled about the future of grass seed and grass at Canada's Wonderland. And I'm just really excited that Cedar Fair is doubling down and investing in grass at Canada's Wonderland. Like it's definitely something that they've needed to do for a while. And it's just Again, and just like, I, um, honestly, I'm almost moved to tears right now that they're doing this. So um, I really appreciate the positive feedback on our drone update on Grass Seed at Canada's Wonderland. So we're definitely going to be um, doing this regularly, uh, covering it a little more in depth. And maybe we'll get some behind the scenes tours on the Grass at Canada's Wonderland. There's this new area of interest actually right here. Um, over by Whitewater Canyon. They're blocking us from seeing um, some things back there. So I have a feeling they're planting some grass back there, um, to be honest. Like, this is definitely something I'm going to want to keep an eye on. Okay, all, all jokes aside, that's going on too long. Sorry. Anyways, there's a lot going on at Canada's Wonderland now as they prep for Halloween Haunt at Canada's Wonderland. Um, super excited. This area is blocked off. It means absolutely nothing. Um, I think that they do this every year now. Um, but yeah, it caught our attention because, again, we haven't been in the park for a while. But uh, yeah, no action over at Action Theater yet or never. Uh, who knows? Um, but the area is closed. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on Action Theater for the rest of the season. And then next year, if nothing happens, I do think that Action Theater is due very shortly for its Dark Ride upgrade. So. Um, our attention is definitely going to be watching it this year and next year if nothing happens again. Um, but yeah, lots of prep going on for Halloween Haunt. They got some decorations out that will show you around the park, all the skeletons that they set up. It's kind of like a tradition at Canada's Wonderland now that they set up the skeletons on International Street. But yeah, nonetheless, um, they're getting ready for some new scare zones. Definitely seeing signs of upgrades to these scare zones. So I think these scare zones... Um, at Halloween Haunt are going to be a very uh, well done. A lot of lighting's going up around the park. Even the clown scare zone seems a little expanded. It looks like the um, trick or treat um, section for Halloween Haunt is going to be extended as well into two separate areas. So definitely looking forward to Halloween Haunt this year. I'm, I'm very interested in how Canada's Wonderland is going to do it. Uh, again, they're getting ahead of their game. A lot of lighting up around the park. Nothing decorative yet other than the lampposts and lamppost decor that they put up. But I'm definitely, I don't know if it's because I haven't been in a while, but I'm really looking forward to it. So comment down below. Are you as excited as I am for Halloween Hog? Because I don't know what it is. I'm just like really excited about it. Um, they got some of the stages. So I believe that's the show where they do a bunch of really gross out of this world things to each themselves, like hurt themselves. Ugh, I hate it I'm in a good way. That's a compliment to the show. It just grosses me out. And I know that's exactly what they're trying to do. So kudos to them. 
Um, but yeah, here's some of the lighting that's gone up. It comes with these really large kind of like poles that you see right here. Thought it was a little like weird that they just like stuck these out and didn't like tie them to trees or something. I guess like it's for added safety with wind and all that. But here um, is another stage. I don't know if this is for the DJ set because there's supposed to be a dance party in this area. Um, again, I am expecting some scare actors to be placed on stages like this similar to Halloween Horror Nights, um, but I don't think that's one of them. I do see them building sets uh, behind Time Warp, but again, that could be for another show as well. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Um, the Wonderland has announced, or not announced, they've started Oktoberfest. It's a mini little food festival that Wonderland, I guess, added in due to the popularity that Canada's Wonderland's having right now. Um, and the food's amazing. The pretzels are absolutely amazing. You got to try some of the pretzels. I got spicy mustard with mine. Um, I got the mini one. There's a gigantic one that comes in like a medium sized pizza box. It's insanely large. So if you are going to Canada's one and go to Medfair and check it out because it is insanely large. Um, but yeah. A lot of people haven't checked out Marketplace this year. It is open, and the back patio is open as well. I know someone's going to kill me for making this video right now because they told me not to reveal this secret, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get reamed out for this. But this back patio is insanely beautiful, and it's like a mini escape from the rest of the park. And if you're into photography, you need to come back here and check it out because there are some amazing angles of the park that you can capture some amazing um, scenes at Canada's Wonderland. So you got to come on this patio and check it out. It's a great escape. Definitely do it. But nonetheless, that's it for Canada's Wonderland. Again, stay late because the ride lines do die down. Um, so stay late and try and get Last Ride of the Night on Leviathan because it is a whole vibe getting Last Ride of the Night on Leviathan or even whatever, just staying late and getting a night ride. Thanks so much for watching uh, our video today. If you have any questions, comment down below and I'll try and answer them. Have a good one, guys. Bye.